Hi, I'm Stephanie Jaworski of joybaking.com. Today we're going to make maple pecan ice cream and this is what it looks like. This is so rich and creamy and it's flavored with maple syrup and lots of toasted pecans. Really, it's just so delicious. So, um, this ice cream is really, we're going to make a custard. It's a custard based ice cream. So, you will need a, like a medium sized saucepan and in there I'm going to put two cups which is 480 milliliters of half and half. Now that is really what it, what it means is it's a mixture of half whole milk and half light cream. So if, if wherever you live they don't sell half and half that's all you, you can make your own. And then, of course, it's maple pecan ice cream. So we will need three quarters of a cup, which is 180 milliliters of, you wanna use a pure maple syrup. Not the artificial here, we wanna go for the real stuff. And then I'm just going to add just a pinch of salt, an eighth of a teaspoon. And what we're gonna do is we're going to bring this up to a simmer. We're gonna heat it up over medium high heat. Simmer means you're going to start to see some bubbles around the outside and you want to catch it before it can foam up just a little because once, once milk or cream boils, once it goes, it just, <laughs> it really foams up on you. So watch it carefully. Now, while that is heating up, what I have here is you want a heat proof bowl. My personal preference is stainless steel. You will need five large egg yolks. If you want to go by weight, that would be 80 grams. And then you will need a quarter of a cup, 50 grams of granulated white sugar. And what we are going to do, now you could use a hand mixer if you wanted to, but I'm going to use just, I'm going to do it by hand with a wire whisk. And we're going to just whisk these together until they're kind of light in color. You want to just get it, you know, mix, really mixed up, mixed well. So if you have a hand mixer and you don't want to get your, a work out of your arm, then go ahead and use that. Okay, so as you can see, our cream is starting to bubble. So I'm going to unplug that. Now, just so to make it easier for you to see, you don't have to do this at home. I'm just going to pour this in here because now... What we want to do is add our hot cream into our egg mixture. As you can see, this is what it looks like. And you want, don't want to add it all at once because we don't want to cook those egg yolks. So what I'm going to do is whisking all the time, I'm going to gradually add just a little of that hot liquid whisk it in. This is what is called, I'm tempering my uh, egg yolks so that the temperature of both is the same. And once you do that, then you can just add it in a steady stream, whisking or stirring the whole time. Now, if you found after you did this and you did have some little lumps of cooked egg, don't worry about it, just strain your mixture and get rid of all those. No one will ever know. So, essentially this is our custard. Now, we're going to have to, at this point, we're going to have to cook it a little over a saucepan of simmering water. So, I'm just going to bring my water in my pot up to a simmer and then when we come back we will cook our custard. Okay, so our water is up to a simmer. Once you bring it up, then adjust your heat because you don't want it boiling too much. And now what we're going to do is we're going to take, that's why you need a, a stainless steel bowl, because we're going to put it over our pot. And we do this so that it's a gentle heat because it is, this is an egg base, so we don't want to cook those eggs. We just want to heat them up. And what we want to do is heat it up to 170 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 77 degrees Celsius. I am using a thermometer, makes it easy. 
and you want to stir this the whole time. Keep it moving. I will show you if you don't have a thermometer, I will show you another test where you know it's up to the correct temperature once we get there. Okay, we are at 170. So I'm going to take that off the heat, which is 77 degrees Celsius. And the other test, if you don't have a thermometer, is wooden spoon. And if you put your finger, see how you have a film and then it stays there, like the, it clears the spoon like that. And that's the other test. Now, just a little point. If you, I'm using a silicone um, spatula. If you don't have one of these, then I would recommend stirring your custard with a uh, wooden spoon. And that way you can use the test of when it's done. So now what I'm going to do is add a half a cup, which is 120 milliliters of heavy cream. Uh, that's cream with about a 35 to 40 percent butterfat content. This is going to be rich and creamy. And uh, then one teaspoon, four grams of pure vanilla extract. Because, I, you know, I think the maple syrup and then with the uh, vanilla, and then we're going to later, we're going to add the pecans. Wonderful combination. As you notice, we are not adding the uh, pecans. We don't add those until after we uh, churn our ice cream. So we're done essentially with making our custard base. Now all we have to do, and I'm just going to pour this into here, because we have to chill this custard and get it really cold before we, we put it into our um, ice cream machine. So. I'm just going to cover this. I'm going to let it cool down to room temperature on the counter, and then I'm going to put it into the refrigerator. You want this to get really cold. My personal preference is like overnight, which would be say 12 hours or more. But you know, if you kind of made it in the morning, you want to churn it at night, I would say at least give it eight hours. So that's what I'm going to do. And then I'm going to put it in the fridge. And then when we come back, we will make our ice cream. So now we are ready to make our ice cream. I did chill my custard overnight, so it's nice and cold. But first, you will need one cup, which is 100 grams of toasted pecans. So what you need to do is just put your pecans. Now I'm using, I have whole ones here. You could just use the pieces, the ones you buy. Put them on a baking sheet and bake them in a 350 degree Fahrenheit oven, oven, which is 180 degrees Celsius. Just bake them for about eight minutes until they're very lightly browned and you can start to smell them. And then let them cool and then chop them. Now, some people like their pecans to be really finely chopped and you could do that by hand or you could put it in your food processor. I tend to like it kind of in between. I don't like it too coarsely chopped. I don't like it finely chopped. So what I do is I just do it on a uh, cutting board and just cut away. And I'm going to leave it up to you what size you like them. That's kind of like how I like mine. So I'm going to continue doing that while my ice cream is churning. So everybody, you know, it's all different brands of ice cream machines. So always read your manufacturing instructions because they will tell you your manufacturer will tell you how to do the ice cream. So mine has this base and I, it, you have to freeze this. So I did that overnight, nice and cold. So what I'm going to do is put that in there and then I'm going to turn it on, pour in my custard, and then I'm going to let it churn. For mine, it takes, you know, about 25, 30 minutes. So let's pour it in. And I'm just going to let it do its thing. And when we come back, I will show you our ice cream. So our ice cream is now done. With this type of machine, once your base warms up, then really that's about all you can churn it. So I'm just going to take out my center here. Now, my uh, ice cream is still quite soft. So let's all just show you. 
as you can see, it's still quite soft. So what I'm going to have to do, I'm going to first, I'm going to add all my pecans. See, now this is how I like mine chopped. I got some, some finely chopped one and then some bigger pieces. Like I said, you can do it how you like. So I'm just going to stir that in. Oh, I can smell those pecans. <laughs> And then what I have to do is I'm going to put this into a uh, container and put it into the freezer for a couple hours just until it firms up. And I have done that. I did this yesterday and I just put it in a covered container and as you can see it's become quite firm. So and then you can just scoop it out. Now, sometimes, especially homemade ice cream gets really, it really freezes really hard. So what you might want to do, just check it, you know, a little while before you're going to serve it. And if it's really cold, then take your container and put it into the refrigerator for like 15 to 30 minutes. And that will soften it up just enough so that you can scoop it out like this. Doesn't that look gorgeous? Ooh. And there we have our maple pecan ice cream. So. It's delicious. I'm, you have the, you can taste, the, it's rich, it's creamy with, with the cream and the egg, egg yolks. You got a really rich and creamy texture. And then you have that beautiful maple syrup the taste of that and then the the pecans that add like a little bit of crunch and then also pecans to me when you toast them they kind of have a, a caramel flavor which with the uh, maple syrup it, it's just terrific combination so try this and until next time i'm stephanie jaworski of joybaking.com <music>